Yeah, man. Hello, my name is Miguel, and today I'm gonna make for you chickpeas, codfish, pepper stew. You gonna need some chickpeas, about a quarter cup. Codfish, a half pound, a quarter pound. An onion, medium sized onion. Stock of scallion, which is optional. One tablespoon basil. One tablespoon parsley. You can use any of these herbs fresh. Just chop it fine. Pimento berries. A quarter teaspoon dried pimento berries. About a teaspoon or half teaspoon of rosemary. Tomato. Three between four garlic cloves, quarter cup or less coconut oil, one tablespoon white vinegar, and ketchup, half quarter cup ketchup, pepper, scotch bonnet pepper, or you can use red pepper, half scotch bonnet pepper. Start by preparing the codfish. I have a tip. You can prepare the codfish several ways. Typically people boil the codfish for about five minutes and then use a knife and then scrape that skin that you see me peeling off right now. But I like to take it off before cooking. That way it's easier and no scale would be in the food. See me demonstrate close up how I intentively remove the skin from the codfish normally you would put it on a flat surface that way it's easier to handle get between the flesh of the codfish and the skin and kind of patiently peel off the skin if you have challenges doing it this way like I said boil the codfish for about five minutes after boil allow it to cool once it cooled, you um, use a knife and kind of scrape off the skin part. So this is the idea. This is what you want. Now, we're going to rinse the codfish thoroughly. So you do this under running water. Um, I just put it in some water. You got to rinse off all the salt. Squeeze it. Just barely squeeze it just to get off the excess salt. If you can do this several times, it will be good. Do this on the running water. Now, put to heat a big enough saucepan. Add water. Add enough water where you'll be able to put the codfish in. So it's emerged. Use a pan's lid and cover it slightly open and allow. Next, we're going to prepare our vegetables. Starting with the garlic, remove the leaf, the outer leaf or the skin from the garlic, cut off ends trim off spoilage if there's any I did say three between four garlic cloves so this is the 
fourth one with onion do as you see me doing and remove the brown leaf from the onion I know you will be tempted to remove that first layer of the onion but remember now the first layer of the onion is the strongest so just remove the brown leaf the only way you can remove the first layer unless it's spoiling and even when it's spoiling you should trim off the spoilage now the scallion remove dying leaves cut root end and leaf tips remove the stem cut off stem parts of from the tomato uh, rinse the garlic the scallion and the tomato do this under running water I'm just tempted to demonstrate that's all clean use your fingers and kind of rub the scallion properly and clean it because you know it, it tends to be dirty the tomato as well Now dice scallion. Fine. Keep ingredients separate. Dice or slice onion. Cut tomato in quarters or one eighth. So what I like to do is just cut it in half, cut that half in half, and then cut each piece in half. Or you can just cut quarters like I'm doing today. Grind or shred. All right, it's been five minutes. With the codfish, it's been boiling for five minutes. Turn the stove off. Remove the pot to a cool spot on the stove and allow it. Just allow it for a little while. So allow it to stay for a little while. Grind, mash the garlic to puree or pulp. I use this grinder. It's not sharp. You can rub your finger over it and it won't hurt you. If not, you can use a, a knife, a flat, a flatter knife and kind of mash, use your hand and mash, mash it if you don't have a grinder like this. Measure and add one tablespoon parsley. I'm using dried parsley, but note you can use any of these herbs fresh. Dice it fine. A teaspoon or a little bit less of grinded rosemary. Fresh. I mean, well, I'm using dried. You are using fresh you could just break up like if you had a rosemary tree or on the back in your yard I bought this grinder thing let me try it out right. it doesn't seem to be working that good with with the rosemary I 
just have to still do it the old fashioned way. Yes, rosemary in the yard. Just break off a piece of stem, rinse it properly, and then put it in the stew. Although they say dried herbs is better, which it is. All right, pimento berries. Measure a quarter teaspoon and put aside. Dried pimento berries. Parsley. I hope I didn't say parsley earlier. No? first one was basil, dried sweet basil. This now is dried parsley. Measure and add a tablespoon and put aside a tablespoon. Next, marjoram. What about, about half teaspoon or a teaspoon there about. Alright, this is our codfish. I let it stay in the water for the same time that you saw us cut up the rest of the seasonings. Remove it from the water, put it in a container and allow it to cool. I forgot to say we're going to use paprika, sweet pepper. And so with the paprika, wash it properly. Make sure you wash it properly on the running water. If you can rub a little white vinegar on it, that would be good. Now cut off, cut it in half because I'm only going to use half. Remove the stem and seeds and rinse it out properly. Next, slice it, put the, the surface, the outer side of the paprika or the sweet pepper on a chopping board. And do as you see me doing and kind of slice. Makes little slices. All right, this is our chickpeas. It's been soaking overnight. I find that if you soak it overnight, it's effective. It's just, you don't have to pressure cook it or do anything to it. If you're in hurry, you boil it for five minutes and let it sit for an hour. All right, so this is our chickpeas. Just measure, I'm using a cup already soaked. When you soak it, it swell. Probably swell three times the amount. Have your chick, your prepared chick, chickpeas ready. Look, I wanna demonstrate how tender this chickpeas is. I just put it on a surface and mash it with the palm of my hand very easy and break it up that's what you want to do test your peas or anything you're gonna eat it has to be tenderized that way when it goes in your stomach your stomach doesn't have to work hard to break it down and if it can't break it down it's just gonna send it straight to you to you you know where that's why evolution that's why evolution gave us teats or toots or toot Teat or toot? Whatever you want to call it. Every living animal and herd mammal have teats or toot. Have toot. All right. So this is a piece of Scotch bonnet pepper. I'm using half. You can use red pepper. Say about half teaspoon or so. Now, codfish is cooled. Remove. Go through. And can you usually you'll see some long bones sticking out. Just use your finger and pull them out. Just use your finger and pull it out. You don't want to flake the codfish. You just want to break it in big chunks. Such as this. So this is all of our ingredients that we're gonna cook with right now. Get your ingredients ready. Put them around the stove. 
away from the flame. Don't really put them around the stove. I'm just putting them on the stove because I'm I wanna I wanna show you everything. But keep them close. Now put to heat a saucepan, a medium sized saucepan. Put the stove gauge on four, medium low. Allow saucepan to get hot for a minute or so. You want to make sure no water is in the pan. It's been a minute. Add quarter cup of cooking oil. This spoon that I'm using measures quarter cup. So you want to use quarter cup or less. Quarter cup is not a lot. That's why I say use good cooking oil. I like to use coconut oil. This is not even the purest coconut oil, but if you can afford it, buy the purest coconut oil. All right, allow the oil to get hot for a minute or 40 seconds. A minute or so after, add codfish chunks. Just be cautious of splashing oil. Allow. Those gauges on four, medium low. After a minute, get your ingredients close by using this chopping, this cutting mat. You gotta be careful if you put this stuff on the stove, just watch the flame. Alright, so now flip the chicken, the fish, the codfish chunks on the other side and allow it to, to fry. 10 seconds. Add chopped onions next. Chopped scallion. kind of shuffle or stir in the vegetable to the pot's bottom and allow it to cook add the mashed garlic the pimento berries dry the pimento berries and if you don't have pimento berries it's optional Do as you see me doing and kind of stir in the ingredients a few times and then add the soaked chickpeas. Stir in. few times. Now add the tomato, the herbs, and the pepper. Stove's gauge is on four, medium low. Add half cup water. Use a pan's later. Cover the pan properly. Stove gauge is on four, medium low. Allow. But before that, add one tablespoon of distilled white vinegar. Watch the pepper. Keep it on top. Cover and allow. After three minutes. Three between four minutes. This is what it looks like. This is what our chickpeas.
peas, cut fish, pepper stew look like, looks like. Remove the pepper, stir it in a few times. Add half of this quarter, half of quarter cup ketchup, or about three tablespoons ketchup. Stir it in. And that's it. We're finished. Turn the stove off. And the last step, add your diced paprika or sweet pepper. You can use any color. And that's it. Stir it in. Use a pan's lid. Cover it until serving. It's best served around now. Because you want to serve the sweet pepper crunchy. However, if you can't, it's okay. This is our chickpeas, codfish, pepper stew. Look at that gravy. You can see it's the juicy gravy at the bottom. So stir in your pot before serving and take a scoop of this nice looking healthy delicious chickpeas codfish pepper stew and lay it on a plate or a bed of rice or vegetable visit jamaicadinners.com for the recipe subscribe like share you should try cooking this meal yourself give us feedback when you do voila This is chickpeas, codfish, pepper stew with mushroom. You cannot add ketchup if you, if you desire. Or you can add tomato sauce instead of ketchup. Peas, codfish, pepper stew. Visit JamaicaDinners.com for the recipe. Alright, let's sample this thing here. It looks beautiful. The color, the colors, along with the earth color. Earth colors. It's more than one shade of brown. One shade of brown. It's more than one shade of brown. Alright, the chickpeas is crunchy. The codfish is cooked and juicy. Hey Jamaicans, this is an idea. This would be a good, nice, healthy breakfast substitute. You cannot use your regular broad beans and and, and um baked beans and you can try the chickpeas. It's a lovely meal, lovely, juicy, flavorful. The herbs make it flavorful. That's the only way I can describe it. Codfish, um, chickpeas, codfish, pepper stew is fresh and flavorful. Lovely, healthy meal. The herbs blend, blend nicely with this meal. I am tasting the chickpeas. Chickpeas is high protein. 
Look at all that herbs. Chickpeas adds ten percent iron. Six percent potassium and eighteen percent dietary fiber. A great vegan substitute for protein. You can eat you can eat it alone or with rice or vegetable. You can eat this chickpeas, codfish, pepper stew alone or with rice or with vegetable salad. Alright guys, bye. Until next time. This is leftovers. I'm just gonna pour it in a container. Cover it. I would say leave this in the fridge no more than two days. Alright. Yeah man!